What's up everybody? It's Rebecca Louise and your trusted trainer Alfie. Oh yes, today we have got power through back and shoulders. It is part of our It Takes Grit summer series. So if you haven't already got your copy of my new book, It Takes Grit, I'm going to tell you about it until you get it because you are going to change your life reading this book. You can get it. All the details are in the link below and we're going to get started with today's workout. Alfie, are you ready? Yes, we're ready to go. All right, everybody. So we're going to start off with a light set of weights. We're going to have a couple of sets of weights here. So if you don't have any weights at home, no problem. You don't have to have weights and you can also use water bottles. So first exercise, we're going to bring our arms up here and we're going to take it down and then lift all the way up to the top. So tuck those hips underneath, feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. And then here we go. So that's it. So we've got some rotators. So we're going to take it into that 90 degrees on a 180. That's it. So lift up, pull those abs in nice and tight. We got loads of new moves today. So your body is going to be feeling a different kind of burn tomorrow. That's it. All the way down. So we have got 45 seconds of each exercise. And if you're like, oh my goodness, that's such a long time. No, it's not. Because what we're going to do is we're going to keep going with this It Takes Grit series, having making sure that we are improving our endurance. So when you go back to doing 30 seconds, of exercise. It's going to feel so fast. I can't even emphasize enough how these workouts are going to be so important for you. All right, so let's keep going. Lift up and gently release down. Okay, we're going to take it into T openers. So you're going to come into the front and then you're going to take it out. Now you're not going to go all the way back as if you're arching your back. You're going to take it here and then extend back. That's it. All right, bring back here. Alfie, where are you going? It's probably on the hunt for some of these little snack things, these fruit things that keep dropping from this lovely tree that we have. All right, so keep those arms lifted up nice and high and extend all the way back. You've got this. Right, slight bend in the knee, tucking those hips underneath and now lift that chest up. We're going to bring it right out in front and take it out to the side. Oh yes, those arms are starting to hurt. Yes, they are. We are feeling the burn and that's what we wanted, right? Now, anytime that you need to drop the weight, you can or just lessen the weight. So I've got three pounds right here. You're going to feel it with three pounds. Trust me. Let's keep going for five, four, three, two, one and release down. All right, shake out those arms. Oh, we're already feeling it. All right, we're going to take it into a lateral raise and we're going to rotate at the top and then we're going to come all the way down. Three, two, one, let's go. Out to the side and then lift up. So rotate those weights towards me and then take it all the way down. So try and imagine that you are squeezing your shoulders and that is what is bringing your hands up. So using your back and your shoulders. So back and that's what lifts your arm up. So if you're thinking about lifting up with your hands, what's going to happen? You're not going to engage that back muscle as much as you can. So let's keep on going and thinking every single time we are using our back. So think back is lifting up those arms and you've got this. Okay, you are strong. You can get through this and your results are at the end. Even if you think that you're not going to be able to get through this workout, I'm telling you that you can. You've already made the commitment. Whew, so let's just keep on going through. All right, take it all the way down. All right, shake out those arms. Whew, how are we feeling? We're going to take it into around the world. Okay, so you're going to come up here, you're going to take it all the way up to the top, and then you're going to bring it all the way down here. That's it. So tuck those hips underneath, lift all the way up nice and strong, and come down. So we don't want to yank ourselves and lift everything up. Again, we're just using the back and the shoulders to lift all the way up. You're looking so good. Give yourself a smile because you decided to show up today and keep those arms nice and strong. So release those shoulders away from those ears, push up nice and high and come down. All right, we're over halfway. Yes, come on, we can do a couple more reps. And if you're thinking, oh my goodness, I can't do this, just do a couple more. Go like, I can do three more. And then once you've done three more, see if you can do three more and then just keep on going. All right, lift all the way up. Let's go for three, two, one and release. Okay, weights down to the ground. You're going to come all the way onto your front and we're going to take it into some snow angels. So you're going to lift forward and then you're going to take it back. So extend forward and then all the way back. That's it. So straight ahead, little tap and then tap behind you. So those arms make a nice big circle. Oh yes, everything is getting engaged today. Woo! We're going to feel the burn all the way through the upper body. Your body is going to be on fire. So let's keep going through. That's it. Little tap. A little tap back, keep that chest up, lift it off the ground. 20 seconds to go. You can do this. It is already in your toolbox. It's already what you are capable. You just now have to do the moves. Let's go. Lift up a little bit more in that chest. Really bring those arms back by your side for three, two, one. 
and release. Okay, shake out your arms. You're gonna stay down here on the ground. You're gonna extend those arms straight out in front and you're gonna do reaches. So you're gonna squeeze those elbows in towards your waist, lift forward and then squeeze in. Your head is looking straight down. Keep your feet together, squeeze those thighs, squeeze those glutes and then using your shoulders to bring your elbows back. That's it, you're really thinking shoulders to bring it back and let's keep on going. All right, we got this. Let's keep going. Squeeze in, nice and tight. Extend all the way through. Inhale through your nose and exhale out. Come on, you can do this. You're squeezing everything nice and tight. You are getting those shoulders strong. You are finding that definition all through your upper body. Let's keep on going. Bring it in and extend out. Okay, we got this. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, you're gonna come all the way back up to standing. Oh, I'm only giving you an eight second rest in between these ones. All right, keep on going. We got this. So we're gonna take it into a rotator overhead press, all right? So you come down here, extend, and then all the way up to the sky. Penny, what are you eating? That is not on the menu today. We're gonna lift all the way up, take it down, and breathe through this. All right, we're looking so strong. We don't even need a 15 second rest, right? We're just gonna keep on plowing through. No problem. All right, this is just testing you what you can do. You thought it was gonna be 15 seconds, but no problem, it is eight. All right, lift all the way up, take it down, and squeeze through. Oh, oh, we're looking so strong, everybody. Let's keep it going. We want to imagine what it is that our body is gonna look like after we have done this workout. Give me one more, all the way to the top, and release down. Okay, we're gonna come down to the ground. We're gonna take it into some plank rows. All right, everybody, so grab your heavier weights. Althea has decided to change position, and we're gonna take it into some plank rows. So squeeze the elbows in towards your waist, lift your chest up nice and high, and have both of your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Now think about the shoulder bringing up your arm. That's it, every single rep that you are doing is changing your body, it's changing your results. So guess what? The more that you can do and the right amount of rest, you're gonna get those great results. So squeeze that elbow in towards your waist, lift up through the chest, tuck in those hips underneath, both hips facing down towards the ground, and let's keep on going. So the last couple of reps here want to be challenging. So if you feel like this is too easy, it's time to increase your weight. Lift all the way up, take it down. We've got five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna come all the way up to standing. You're gonna grab the lighter weights. We're gonna take it into oh, some bow and arrows. So it looks a little bit like this. You're gonna take it across. You're gonna keep your arms lifted. And all you're gonna do is punch out onto the air diagonal and think about bringing that elbow out to the side. So if you look from here, this is what we're doing. We're not going out straight to the side. We're not going straight out in front. We're taking it on that diagonal as if you are, you know, aiming a bow and arrow. Let's keep on going. Archery is actually something I'm pretty good at. All right, let's take it across the other side. Now keep those elbows lifted up nice and high. Pull the abs in and the ribs down. You can do this. Now look at this strong stance that you've got right here. Yes, you are winning something. You are owning your day. You are in control of your life. Let's keep on pushing forward. You are the hero in your own story. Three, two, one, and release. Okay, pick up those heavier weights for me. We're gonna take it into some shoulder shrugs. So, Feet a little bit wide and hip distance apart. Lift up, hand release down. Three, two, one, let's go. All the way up, hand release. All right, we can do this. We are so close. Whoo, because every single movement that we are doing today is gonna make us stronger for the future. So do you wanna be stronger in the future? Do you wanna have more discipline? Absolutely. So guess what? We just have to keep on pushing through. Lift those shoulders up and release down. Just a couple of seconds at the top and then bringing those shoulders back down. Hold on to a weight that is heavy enough that you can feel it, that you can feel the difference happening. Lift up and breathe. Yes, everybody, let's keep on going. We're doing so good. Extend, we've got less than 10 seconds to go. Keep pushing through and let's hold up for the last three, two, one, and release those weights down to the ground. You're gonna take your arms out we're gonna take it into little circles, going backwards. So lift that chest up nice and high, get your legs a little bit wider and the hip distance apart. You have a slight bend in the knee and tuck those hips underneath, pull the belly button in towards your spine. The ribs go down, that's it. The chest is lifted, the shoulders are away from the ears, the arms are nice and long and extended. Your neck is long, somebody is pulling you up from the crown of your head. 
you've got a nice big smile and no matter what you are going to keep on going you're going to keep those arms up because if anybody drops those arms we're going to find you and we're going to have to start all over again all right we're doing so great lift those arms up a little bit higher that's it release those shoulders down use the back now take a nice big breath in inhale through your nose power exhale out for five four three two one and release down oh my goodness you guys did so great today you're already on your mat so if you want to keep on going with this workout you can get the full version in the app check out this next workout i've got for you have a great rest of your day and we will see you next time bye in front you're yeah, looking so good everybody make sure that you hashtag i can feel the burn rebecca on social media so i can find you guys give you a high five tell you what an amazing job that you are